So this is my daily uh, let's watch the world burn update. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna just start with this. Uh, this is I always attribute my um, sources. This is redacted on YouTube. I uh, highly encourage you to uh, check out their channel. Uh, I, I think they do a great job. I wish I had their resources to do a more professional uh, thing. But you know I think because I'm just kind of a one person operation and my brain just goes all kinds of different places i think i can get a lot more information to you a lot quicker and that's my advantage i'm a much more nimble so let's let's just do it regarding threats of nuclear war svetlana gennadievna you are right this threat is growing there is nothing to hide here regarding the fact that under no circumstances will russia strike first if it does not strike first under any circumstances then it will not strike second either because the possibilities of a nuclear strike on our territory are very limited. However, our strategy is to consider nuclear weapons, and they are weapons of mass destruction, as a means of protection. It is all set up around the so-called retaliatory oncoming strike. Did we talk about the possibility of using nuclear weapons? No. The former Prime Minister of Great Britain, let us not mention her by name, also directly publicly said that she was ready to do it. In response to this, I had to emphasize some things too. Right away, her statements were ignored, and what we said was immediately stuck out, and the statements were used to frighten the whole world. We haven't gone crazy. We are aware of what nuclear weapons are. We have these means, and they are in a more advanced and more modern form than any other nuclear country. This is an obvious fact today. But we are not going to brandish this weapon like a razor, running around the world. But of course, we proceed from the fact that it is. So, the same are rattling here, you know? I mean... So there you go. That's uh, Putin in all his glory. Uh, it la later on, they go on. He gave a very candid uh, offhand uh, interview uh, to the press. He was actually having a martini, uh, just chilling out. And, uh, and then he said... Um, he said, well, yeah, you know, we, 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 we're in no hurry. He says, we, we've got 300,000 troops on the way. Uh, in fact, uh, there was some video that came out of Belarus. And if you, if you want to watch that idiot blinking, blinking Lincoln, your, your, your Biden government. Oh, yeah, he said, oh, the Russians, they're not ready for a, a winter war. Oh, man, the Russians have never fought in the winter in their lifetime. Of course, if you talk to a, a Generation Z or maybe even a Generation X, they don't know that the Russians can fight in winter. I, I, you know, Siberia is not probably the most brutal place on the planet. But uh, no, no, the Russians, uh, you, you want to believe your government and your media that, oh, you know, they're, they're not getting ready for a Russian uh, campaign. And uh, and let's let's hope we don't go to a global global thermonuclear war. Now, they, they did blow up, um, from what I understand today, there was five more uh, Hellfire batteries that uh, got wiped out, um, and that leaves, uh, I don't know how many, well, of course, that's millions upon millions of you know, U.S. taxpayer dollars, and of course, the Democrats are all for it, Democrats are all for it, love the Democrats, you know, and it's those rhino Republicans, uh, we got to include them in the, in the, in the thing. Um, so yeah, we just lost millions upon millions of dollars. Uh, they took out those batteries. Uh, so, uh, now we're going to be sending our Patriot batteries over there. I'm sure that's going to make a big damn difference. Uh, so anyway, um, but what was he, oh, the thing over the martinis is he just said, you know, no, we're, we're, we're still, uh, training the troops, uh, we're in no hurry to get them to uh, Belarus. Uh, I think that's where, and he was very candid, you know, these are where our offenses, I mean, I, I, I tell you, it was kind of like um, MacArthur during uh, the Korean War. He told the Chinese, this is where we're going to come in from. And, uh, you know, if you want to set up defenses, uh, you know, we're, we're coming at you. Uh, and, uh, and then the Chinese just obliterated <laughs> the Allied troops when the Chinese came across with five, four or five Chinese, the chosen reservoir took place. I mean, it was huge. And so maybe uh, Putin shouldn't be telegraphing where he's going to be invading from. Now, maybe he's not. It could be a feint. Could be that he's just uh, 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 thinking that the Biden, well, the, the, the Biden administration, the globalists that are running the, uh, the, the U.S. right now, that they're too stupid to realize that maybe, you know, he's really not going to make the offensive from there. I guess we're going to see. Um, so that's uh, that's basically all I got on the on the Ukraine war. Um, uh, so that's that's what took place today. Uh, on a personal note, uh, I finally 
for the first time since I broke my neck, I went to the gym today because I've been scared. Uh, I've had, um, uh, me uh, you know, gastral issues and, and I didn't want to, uh, you know, embarrass myself in public, let's say. And uh, I did very well and, and I'm going to pay the price. I'm, I'm, and that's the thing I, I've been telling you uh, in many videos, you know, you have good days. And you have bad days. And I was, I was, I, I was watching Jordan Peterson uh, today uh, with an interview uh, with Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan, and I, uh, and he, he said something was. I mean, that guy always has something profound to say. I mean, if you don't know who he is or you don't watch him, I mean, it, he is just amazing. And he said, you know, that's the thing. And in, in life, you know, we all get knocked down. You know, I get knocked down. I got to get up again, do, 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 you know, and, and, and he was talking about, you know, that's, that's what defines who you are. I mean, you know, and, and so, man, I, I, I got knocked down this year. I mean, think about it. I, I should have died. Uh, severe neck injury. I still don't have no feeling in my hands or my feet. Um, my wife divorced me, stole a bunch of stuff out of the house, took uh, half the finances or more, actually, I, you know, um, Anyway, it was it's been a brutal year for me, but I'm feeling good and 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 so I mean, that just today getting to the gym, I'm just telling you you, you get knocked down, you got to get up again. And uh we'll see how things go. Um on the uh investment front, uh silver, you know, like I said yesterday, it's it, by the way, it's, it's trending upward now again. I was hoping it might come down a bit further cuz I'd like to pick up a little more, but I have more than enough. And I just don't feel like, you know, with my limited budget that I'm going to be buying more silver. Now, I did see uh, Johnny Bravo, by the way, I'm, I, I want to buy his course. I really do. He's offering it for $200 every single time I watch him. He always says, it's a thousand, but I'm going to offer it for 200. It's swing trading. And uh, I, I've never, I've never been a swing trader. I've always been a buy and holder. He calls us buy and holders. And uh, it's, it's pretty funny when you listen. I, mean, I tell you what, the guy's got a great sense of humor, and he, he cracks me up. Uh, whether you want to listen to him or not, I mean, he, he's all about selling his product, which is his courses, and I'm sure they're very good. And uh, I do want to buy it at some point, but I just don't have time to look into it. I mean, think about today. I went to the gym. I had to, I, and by the way, I got uh, out. I want to promote myself outdoors with Kirk, outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. That's my new channel. And I uploaded uh, two more videos today, uh, so uh, and I've got to start. I'm going to be continuing to upload videos. I have many videos that I have to convert over from YouTube to Rumble uh, for Outdoors with Kirk because uh, unfortunately my my outdoor videos are intermixed with my that cybersecurity guy videos, and you know that I'm buried <laughs> in the YouTube algorithm. They don't like me very much, I can tell you that. Uh, the other new story that I found very, very interesting is Dr. John Campbell, and uh, YouTube didn't take him down. I was very, very surprised. The uh, British uh, Parliament, I, I guess John Campbell, all he did was show the proceedings over the British Parliament, and I imagine it would be very difficult for YouTube to take down a video that's just showing the debate that's taking place in the British Parliament, and it was all about the efficacy of the jab. You know, don't want to say the word. I might get another strike on YouTube if I say uh, the the V word. You know, let's just say. So, uh, so yeah, they were they were having a huge debate on it, and um, and and John Campbell was just he's just like me. He was just kicking back, just showing the. The Parliament, I'm sorry my nose is itching, uh, he was just showing the Parliament, debating it, and uh, it was very, very interesting. If you want to learn about uh, things you might want to know about the jab, um, that, uh, well, I mean, just I just say watch it. I, I can't say anything here on YouTube, because I'll get banned. So uh, uh, you, you form your own opinion if you want to continue to get the booster to your booster to your booster to the booster to the booster to the booster. Get the booster and the next booster. Uh, be sure and get all of them and put cellophane over your head and wrap your face or your body in aluminum foil. And, and I'm sure you're going to be protected well. And be sure and listen to the CDC. I'm, I'm actually seeing advertisements still on YouTube uh, about getting the, 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 the vaccine. Uh, I'm not saying it's good or bad. Get it, you know. But and, and there, and, and but the thing that bothers me is that's your taxpayer money. Every time I see one of these advertisements, and there are many, they are push still pushing the the and that all that money gets kicked back to the uh, pharmaceutical companies, which you'd think the liberals would be upset about, right? 
Why do you want all your taxpayer money going to the pharmaceutical companies? I thought that the liberals were supposed to be against uh, big government or big, uh, big corporations or fascism. It's really just fascism because the government's taking the money, your taxpayer money, and they're kicking it back to the, the uh, corporations. That's the very definitions of fascism. So all Democrats are fascist. Yes, yes, Democrats are fascist. Holy moly. Yeah, that's what we got to say now. All right, so uh, what else did I see today? Uh, we've got the Pierce Brosnan interview with uh, Jordan and uh, the Ukraine war. I tried to cover that. Uh, we talked about invest investments. Uh, and, and just to, to beat on a dead horse from yesterday, uh, I took on a to-do item. I'm going to go look. I wrote down uh, four or five uh, coin shops around my area. And I, I, by the way, the economic ninja, he talked about buying and selling. I've never been much of a haggler or buying and selling stuff. And he was describing how he made his millions and millions of dollars. And uh, I was like, wow, you know, I mean, it's, it's a pretty simple strategy. But man, I tell you, it'd be a lot of work of what he's done, you know. But uh, but at the same time, uh, I, I've, I've given some thoughts and, uh, you know, I've, I've got some ideas on, on employing, you know, buy and sell strategy uh, once the... The S hits the fan, so because uh, I will have some capital to deploy, and uh, we'll see if I can do something with it. Uh, at smart, I think I will be able to. Um, uh, so where? Oh, the economic ninja, and so that yeah, I was just talking about how how to buy and sell stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be visiting these coin shops and see if. Uh, Especially here in Central Florida, I mean, we got a lot of old people. I mean, they could be just selling all of their gold and silver into these coin shops, and maybe I can pick up uh, the silver coins um, a lot cheaper than I could from you know the dealers, the big dealers, the SD Bullions or or the Monex or the uh, Miles Franklin or uh, uh, JD Bullion. Uh, you know, there's, these are all the ones that I know of, and so uh, you know, I did see. Good Lord, a uh, hundred. 100 ounce silver bars it's sd bullion right now for like a dollar 50 over spot or some kind of crazy stuff now i don't i don't ever buy gold bars i just stick to coins and like i said but but that's why i want to go to the coin shops because i'm going to try to pick up some uh, junk silver so that's it man that's the that's the watch the world burn update uh, i'm going to try to do these daily as because i i am a, i i'm i'm just fascinated by watching what's going on in the world uh, i hope i don't get nuked out of existence along with the rest of you but and uh you heard putin i mean you know he says he's not gonna launch first or second uh i guess he feels like he can shoot down enough nuclear weapons if they're coming in on this country to get off a second strike uh, that's the way i interpret that um and he does he boasts and i i i, I don't know i guess i tend to believe him he says they have the most advanced nuclear arsenal on the planet. And he's basically to warning the United States that he, he doesn't think that our nuclear arsenal threatens him. Uh, it w I mean, of course, it's going to destroy Russia eventually. But what he's saying is, is he can take a punch and still get all his nukes out and completely obliterate the United States. And that's the way I interpreted all of that. Uh, that's my my interpretation. So you do what you want. But check out that uh, UEC Uranium Corporation. I mean, I, you know, Johnny's saying it was an advertisement, by the way. I, but it is right now. It's at a nice low price. And I, right now I'm just a buy and hold alert. That's what he calls me. Oh, yeah. And then the last thing that I had to talk. <laughs> I love this guy. You got to check out the liberal hive mind on, on YouTube. And uh, my favorite thing that he says is he always starts out and he goes and he gets into it because it's, it's all about, you know, the leftist and the, and the liberal hive mind. And he calls them leftoids. <laughs> leftoids. And every time I hear him say the, I mean, it's the way he says it, he goes, the leftoids have lost their minds, you know. And, uh, and so, you know, I always think of uh, the, the movie... Um, tremors when he ever he says leftoids and so that's it uh, peace out stay free it's good 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 to live in the free 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 state of florida this is just a number the december 22nd 20 no december 18th 2022 uh watching the world burn update <clears throat>